I have two more messages, but I'm going to do this one quickly and I'll do the other one later. So you guys will see me pop up later with the other message. But this one is, um, this one is very, very, this is for someone. Okay. And it's maybe for a lot of people, but God told me this last night and, and, um, you know, he basically said that right now it feels like your life is chaotic. It feels like things are not slowing down. It feels like things are not getting better. And it's like every direction you turn, it feels like a door is being shut on you. It feels like you're tripping in every direction you turn. It feels like there's there's like a, a trap in every direction you turn, right? And it just feels like you're in a storm with no navigation. You're in a storm and it's windy. And it's kind of like you feel like you're about to perish. Like you feel like your boat's about to crash. Like you're about to fall in the sea and just be wiped out. And, you know, you're just like, God, like when, it, you know, I'm, you know, I don't, I don't want to go through this. And it just feels like your whole life is a wreck. And here's what God was showing me last night. He said, peace be still. Peace be still. And I'm like, God, I heard you say that before. Like I didn't hear you say it before, but I, I heard, I heard that somewhere in the Bible. Um... I actually said, God, I heard you say that before, but I never heard him say that before. I, I heard it somewhere. I have to correct my words. I heard it somewhere. I meant to say that to him, but I said, I heard you say that before. And um, so I looked it up to see what he means by peace be still because he was showing me the ocean. It's funny how he was just showing me the Ursula, okay? <laughs> In the other video, I talked about that with the um, be careful. She's trying to suck your energy or whatever video, right? Um, yeah, so I looked it up. And it showed me Mark. It showed me Mark 4 verse 35 to 41. Remember when Jesus was on the boat with his disciples, right? And I'm like, that's where it came from. Remember when Jesus was on a boat with his disciples and the boat started getting rocky and Jesus was sleeping. <laughs> He's taking a little nap. And the disciple came to him and said, Rabbi, like, you know, the boat is shaky. Like we're all going to perish and you're sleeping. And then Jesus came out and then he said, he said, peace be still. And the boat calmed down. The sea calmed down. The storm calmed down. And the boat started, you know, going at a really a still pace and everybody was calm. But everybody was also shocked because that's when they really saw the works of Jesus's anointing. And they, were, they really saw his gifts and they really saw how he was able to calm down a storm and the sea. And they were shocked like, whoa, he can even calm down the ocean he can even he can tell the wind to stop moving like he can you know he can calm the sea he can you know they were like shocked right god is god <laughs> when i read that last night i was just like oh my god this is where i came from so when i talked to god after that again about it he basically said um this is just the mist of the storm okay and he said peace be still he's gonna calm down that storm in your life and when he comes on that storm in your life it's going to be a miracle and you're going to see the works of his hands and you're going to understand also why you were put through that storm i went through the same thing in 2016 guys remember i told you where i was going through crazy warfare i felt like i was going to pass away like you know it almost killed me actually there was a, and it was happening every day that warfare everything was just falling apart and you know what i mean and then it just stopped and then now look at my purpose look where i am today look helping you guys and look how far i've come the storm has definitely settled down right so that i'm using it as an example to show you that even I've been through that and look where I am today. I mean, I'm not in the best place, like, but I'm grateful to where I am today, right? And that's what I'm saying. Like, you may be in a storm right now, but God is going to still the storm for you. God is going to calm it down. And just like the disciples were kind of, were like very, um, amazed with how God calmed down the storm, you're going to be amazed when you see how God is going to use all the storms you've had in your past and create your testimony. Create, he just, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. He just said your book create your book this is for someone okay <laughs> i guess this is this is what had to happen to make her book interesting right <laughs> yeah because you need you need some drama on your book for it to be interesting right <laughs> so um he just said your book okay um i'm just making jokes so that's how i make jokes with god but anyways um so yeah, so he's going to calm you. When you see the works of his hands, it's going to be a dream come true. It, we're almost in Miracle May, okay? So I'm telling you, the storm doesn't always last. Eventually, the wind's going to have to calm down. Eventually, the, you know, the, the, the sea is going to have to stop. But guess what? Had the disciples not seen the ocean acting crazy and the wind acting crazy and Jesus coming out and calming everything down, they would not have saw the full works of his anointing, right? Mm, there you go. So I'm telling you right now, in order for you to see that you have a testimony, you're going to have to go through the storm for a bit, but God is going to come through and calm it down, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you guys later, the next videos. Uh, I think I have a couple more, actually. Do I? Okay, we'll see. I love you guys. Bye!